Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Nine Miles Review of the As Seen on TV product, WaxVac. I've seen this online. Uh, it's a crazy product, crazy, ridiculous product, but it cl cleans the earwax out of your ears better than a normal Q-tip. And uh, I'm gonna review it today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna support my content, go to patreon.com slash nine malls. All right, so the retail price on this is $5.99, and I think that's a little bit low um, compared to what they want this want to get for this product online. And I got it on sale for $2.97, so it's definitely a good deal. I would not pay full price for this thing. Uh, safe and easy to use. Say goodbye to cotton swabs, wax vec, Wax vac ear cleaning is the safe way to clean your ears. Gentle suction draws dirt, particles, and moisture from your ear. Safely guard our safety guard prevents tip from entering too far. Unit disassembles for fast, thorough cleaning. Features an examination light. Caution: This is not a toy. Okay, let's just see on the back. Swabs push wax and debris further into the ear, which can damage the eardrum. And I've actually seen that uh, professional, I mean, there's actually ways of removing earwax and there was a story, a news story about it. And that's actually true. When you uh, use swabs, it can actually push the earwax into your canal. So it's not always a good thing. I'm not sure if this is the product to remedy that, but uh, it'll be interesting to try out. Wax vac gently draws moisture and debris from ears. I mean, I'm not sure how safe. If, if you really, if this thing was really powerful in suctioning, uh, would that be safe to do, you know, inside your ear? I don't know. Let's just see how strong the suction is. It's one of those really hard to open plastic packages that you need scissors for. And you know, luckily they say this is not a toy because when you take it out, that's exactly what it feels like. It's that really, really, really cheap plastic type feeling. Uh, you got an on off switch. You have a little compartment for your battery. All right. And you got a brush. Oh, that fell on the floor. All right, just a little brush right here. That's for brushing your ear, and you have some covers. And if you did end up using this a lot, you definitely would probably have to buy new covers, unless you, you know, you could probably wash those. But uh, um, I guess who's going to do that? All right, so let me just look at the instructions a little bit. Uh, to, in, to instructions for use. To insert a clean silicon tip, remove the safety ear guard and press the silicon tip in the nozzle of the ear cleaner unit. So all you have to do is remove this and then you have this little silicon tip. And let's just do blue. You put it on here, uh, like so. And then you just put this on and screw it down. And now you're ready to go. Okay, and it also has a light. It features a light. So, then replace the safety ear guard lock tip into place with a twisting motion. Be careful not to damage the silicon tip. Push the switch to on position. Insert device into ear. Do not insert the nozzle more than one eighth of an inch into the ear canal. Focus on removing moisture debris located on the visible outside area of the ear canal. If a high-pitched whistle is heard, remove and dispose of silicon tip. Keep a cup of hot water nearby in case the nozzle becomes clogged. Drawing hot water into the, the wax vac may help clear the clog. Do not immerse unit in the water. Repeat until the majority of the moisture debris has been removed. This process typically takes 30 to five minutes, or 30 seconds to five minutes. Uh, if the process takes longer, you have problems. It says, please consult your physician. Uh, once the suction is complete, clean the unit as described uh, and maintenance instructions. So, I'm gonna put the batteries in and test this out, see if it works. I'm a little bit skeptical, as I'm sure you are. Now it turns on kind of like a vacuum. And... Oh, 
I'm not sure how you turn on the light. That's not working, but here we go. Okay, so I just put new batteries in the wax vac, and I'm gonna try that again. So here we go. And now the light's working right here. So you got a little LED, nice little bright LED light to do whatever. I guess it's to look in your ear. All right, now let's turn on the vacuum and see if this works. And I can feel the suction. Uh, you definitely can feel a little bit of airflow in your ear. And you, you know, this thing prevents you from putting it in too far. All right, let's try the other side. So, yeah, I mean, I don't see really anything coming out. Maybe just a tiny bit, that's, but that's more because I'm sticking it in my ear. Uh, yeah, so I'm not really seeing all that much coming out. And maybe uh, I just have clean ears, I don't know. Um, let me take this off, see if I can see anything. So you can take this off, and there's a little screen, you know, a little fan and then a screen, and supposedly uh, when the ear wax, uh, it'll either come off in this little silicon uh, cover thing, which it didn't, and then if it, and then if you have a lot, it will go in this little connect uh, collection area right here. So. Uh, I didn't see anything thing come out, but maybe I just have clean ears. Uh, I don't know. So, um, from what I s can tell, it's it's like you can feel a little bit bit of airflow. Uh, the suction, you can feel a tiny bit of suction. It's not going to damage your ears. It doesn't feel like it's going to do any damage to your ears. It doesn't feel unsafe or anything like that. You can't really stick it in uh, your ear too far. So. Um, from my experience, this is just my opinion, I think this is kind of a worthless product, at least from what I'm seeing, at least in my situation. That doesn't mean for, you know, maybe someone that has really, uh, you know, ears that need to be clean, uh, it might work for them. But for me, this is something that uh, I wouldn't use. I would just, uh, if you really have bad, you know, earwax buildup, I would get it professionally done or, um, yeah, consult your doctor. But I don't know if, uh, Wax back is the solution. Uh, so yeah, I would say pass on this one, unless you can get it for like $3 like me, and you just wanna have some fun with it. All right, so thanks for watching my videos. If you like my channel, please subscribe, and if you wanna support them, go to patreon.com slash nine malls.